Well, that just stole my thunder a little bit, didn't it, Adam? Thank you very much for the resub. Are you guys ready? Good morning, 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 good morning. How are you all doing? Hope you're all awake. Good morning, John. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to one and you all. I'm back. I am back. I am back. I am back. Have you missed me? Oh, it is good. It is good. It is good. How are you all doing? Uh, Adam with the resub as well coming in just as I was about to start the stream. Thank you very much, Adam, for what's that? Your fifth? Yeah, for your fifth month. Thank you very much for your resub, Adam. As always, your support is greatly appreciated. Welcome, 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 one and all to Aviators TV. It is me. It is Spoony. It is the year of our Lord, 2024. Oh, how are we all doing? Did you all have a good new year? How did it all go? How did you have a good Christmas? I have been off for literally, I think I haven't streamed in like two weeks. I think, what was my last stream just before Christmas? I was like, yep. Yeah. See you later, guys. See you after. And yeah, I just, I decided to just, I kind of knew I was going to do it, but I also kind of extended it a little bit. I was just going, you know what? I'm going to just have a full break. Just have a nice break because I was busy with work as well. For those of you who don't know, I work in retail. So working in retail at Christmas, you can imagine. So I was just like, look, I'm just going to take two weeks off as much as I can, obviously, aside from work and then just rest and chill as much as humanly possible. So I hope you haven't all missed me too much. But I am back. I am back. Good morning, Paul. Morning, Tiger. Yes, the Christmas tree is still up just because I'm just so lazy. I can't be asked to take it down. It will be coming down in the near future. Don't you worry. Uh, considering the tree has kind of fallen apart, actually. But a bit of breaking the fourth wall info. One of my kids knocked it over. So the decorations are just a mess and we just couldn't be bothered to put them back together. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Yes. Yeah, I just I was just like between work, work my real life job and it was just like, uh because it was absolutely ridiculously okay, why is that whinging? Um yeah, it was just absolutely mentally busy. Um yeah, working retail is, as you can imagine, so much fun at Christmas. And it was just, it was just a blur, most of it. So, yeah. But I'm back. I am back. I hope you're all doing well. Right. Shall we jump into some action? Um, I am booked for Stanny, so we should actually just get on it. Uh, let me just, because 
I have got to tell you up. I've just not connected because I wanted to talk to you guys first and I didn't know how long I was going to be talking for. So I thought, you know, happy new year, Qantas. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah. Hello to all my Aussie friends. Good morning from the UK because it's, what are you, nine hours? So 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Jesus, it's like nine in the evening. Auss Aussie land time. I'm waking up. You're going to bed. But I hope you're doing well, Qantas. So hello to all my Aussie friends. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, I've got everything loaded up. I just literally just haven't connected, so you can actually jump over like this. Ooh, can't look at the professionalism. Oh, so let's just uh, get connected onto the network. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Log off time should be about there, so I'll pull it in for now. Get on the network. Uh, you, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I am in. Well, I haven't been banned yet, so that's good. <laughs> Oh, could you imagine? I'm a, I'm a, I would actually probably cry. 8.34, yeah. I was about to say, you're about 9 o'clock. Aussie land time, isn't it? Did you have a good New Year in Aussie land? How'd it go? Usually, you know, Sid Sydney's uh, fireworks. Yes, um, uh, Tiger brought it up um, about the... Um, there's an incident going on in Japan right now, isn't there, with aircraft? It's not looking good. Uh, I was just going to quickly pull up the news and have a look. Japan Airlines plane burning up on the runway. Oh, dear. It seems to be a collision between two aircraft. Japan Airlines Flight 516 departed Ladies from... Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. this is your captain speaking. Av, with the four-month free sub. Thank you very much. You know what? I'm not even subbed to my own channel. I've just realised. <laughs> But thank you very much, Matt, for the resub. That's your four months. You're two months away from being a bronze member and getting a nice bronze badge. Thank you very much, Matt, for the four-month resub. It is much appreciated. Surly, good morning. No, I'm not a Gatwick. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Go go look go look at your local news. It's everywhere. Should I subscribe to my own channel? Let's subscribe to my own channel. Whoopsie. There you go. Thank you. Um, sexy man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa! this is your captain speaking. Oh, look, there's me. Oh, look at me with my 15 month free sub. Oh, thank you, Spoonie. You're just the greatest there ever was. You're just amazing. I love you so much. Thank you, Spoonie, for your support. <laughs> and whoa, thank you for the follow. Simfly UK. You are at the bottom of your screen. What? Oh! Oops. I can tell it's been a while. Hang on. 730. Next step. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Let's just get this one out. It's been a while. It's been a while. Gabe Clark. Good morning. Happy New Year to you too, mate. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need just to make you all VIPs. Basically, if you... Oh, hello. I don't even know if this works. Right now, one golf. Bravo, stands to ground. Good morning, pass your message. Since I got on Ryanair, one golf. Bravo, are you ready for clearance? Uh, right now, one golf. Bravo, stand by. I literally just came online a second. Give me two seconds, I'll call you back. Um, right now, one golf. Bravo, Roger, that we will leave the flight deck for about two minutes and then we are back on frequency. We'll let you know what that and probably then you're also ready with the ATIS and all that stuff. And then we'll crush the ATIS and call you back. Roger that. I don't, don't, well, that was a bit long winded. Uh, time is Zulu. You, oh no, it's saying hotel now. Okay, hotel's current. Hotel. Uh, da, 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 da. Connect the ATIS. I'm assuming 2 2. Let me just double check, guys. Ah! Multitasking. I'm multitasking. Hang on. Bear with me. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Multitasking for the win. You've just taken off. Yep, 2-2. Two, two. Thank you. 2-2 two, two it is. Information Hotel. Oh, the weather is shite. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, wind at Stanny right now. One four zero ten knots. 4,300 meter visibility. Rain broken at 200... Uh, broken at 200 feet, overcast at 4,000 feet, towering cumulonimbus, temperature 10, dew point 10, Q and H is 9 to 8 to 5. Oof, that is shocking. Uh, okay. 
Right, let me get Tower View up. And then you guys can see all the shenanigans. So bear with me. I'm just getting everything connected. Uh, who's this guy's put push? I just wanted to see him. He's no. Okay, he's got no flight plan filed. That's helpful. I'm going to tell him to contact me now, please. You. Gonna need some V-strips action going on as well. Oh, I just clicked the wrong button. No! That was a mistake. Ah! My computer's gonna explode. No! Computer! Flying a 71 Tango Lima requesting RSR clearance to Dublin. Uh, Ryan uh, 71 Tango Lima stands to ground. Hello there. Um, you filed an odd flight level. I need you on an even. Can you accept flight level 280 or 260 to Dublin? I'll take flight level 260. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, roger. I've amended that for you and I have your clearance. You ready to copy? Yep, ready to copy. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, cleared to Dublin. Utava 1 Romeo departure, squawk 7636. Ooh, we got a hype chain. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, cleared to Dublin via Utava 1 Romeo departure, squawk 7636. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, reback is correct. Information hotel current, QNH 985 Hector Pascals. Hold position, report when ready for taxi. Right, hang on. Oh, Vax has only opened thingy twice. I didn't want to do that. Close. Stands on good morning again, Ryanair 1, Golf Bravo. Boeing 738 at stand. Three, three, with information, hold a recast IFR to the left Ryanair 1 Golf Bravo stands to ground. Good morning. Cleared to Salzburg on the Clacton 2 Echo departure, Squawk 7225. Ryanair 1 Golf Bravo, cleared to Salzburg S5 by the Clacton 2 Echo departure, 7225. Ryanair 1 Golf Bravo, reback is correct. QH 985 Hector Pascals, report when ready. Ryanair 1 Golf Bravo 985 and ready for push and start. Ryanair 7 Tango Lima, ready for taxi. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, taxi holding point Sierra 1, runway 22 via Charlie, Hotel and Sierra. Bear with me guys, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Oh, we've got traffic on final as well. Ugh. Taxi holding point Sierra 2 via Charlie, Hotel Sierra, Ryanair 71 Tango Lima. Need, uh... Send it one Ryanair 1, go for our radio push it straight. Ryanair 1 Golf Bravo, stand 3-3, free free. push and start is approved. Ryanair 1 Golf Bravo, push and start approved, stand 3-3. Three three. Hey, yeah, okay. Now guys, bear with me. Hey. I'm on Tango Lima, there he is. Yeah, yeah, I know there's a new version of the thing, you'll have to wait. No worries, no worries, no worries. Don't worry, I'll catch back up with you guys in the chat in a sec. Just bear with me. <sighs> right. This loaded up. This is loaded up. This needs to go over here. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, no further ATC available. Free call Unicom 122 decimal 8. Be advised, traffic on a four mile final. Have a safe flight. Bye bye. Contact Unicom 122 decimal 8. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your morning. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima. And you, take care. Right. Get everything set up. Cool, 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 right. 
everything's pretty much set up. Right, we're looking good. We're looking good, guys. So we should have some uh, B-strips action. There it is. Should have some me action. There I am. Uh, so if I do this. Oh! Right, let's watch this arrival. He's on his way in. Oh, God, that towel view is awful. Hang on. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Uh, towel spot. Thank you. There they come. Right, then. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Looking good. This guy's coming from Billund. Call sign is North Star. Beautiful. Oh, I've been so dehydrated. So yeah, weather's not great at the moment. <clears throat> so yeah, so the general gist of what I've heard, while it's a bit quiet, is yeah, the two planes have collided, which is not good. Is that North Star gonna be what's he doing? Cool, he went full length. Since he can't run out one go far, we'll take your photo. Right air one golf Bravo taxi holding point Romeo one runway two two via Bravo hotel and Romeo. Rainer one golf Bravo taxi holding point Romeo one runway two two via Bravo hotel and Romeo. So yeah, that's the general gist of what I, I've heard has happened. Is somehow two planes have hit, and one just caught fire, just like burst into flames. Uh, what we know so far, it's just over an hour. Uh, Haneda, Tokyo Haneda. All 379 people on board the plane, passengers and crew were safely evacuated, thank God. The Flight 516 is believed to be involved in a collision with a Japanese Coast Guard plane as it landed. Japanese media reporting that one person on board the Coast Guard plane escaped while the other five are unaccounted for. Oh no. Videos and images posted online show the Japan Airlines plane engulfed in flames on the runway while footage from the incident showed from the plane had taken off some... Uh, all flights from Haneda. Alpine one seven five kilo stands to ground. Hello, uh, no flight plan followed for you. Please check and refile. Flight plan filed. Alpine 175 Kilo, Roger, thank you. Stand by, I'll call you back. Ryanair 1 Golf Bravo, no further ATC available. Free call Unicorn 122 Decimal 8, have a safe flight, bye bye. Ryanair 1 Golf Bravo, Unicorn 122.8, thank you for the stop and have a nice day, goodbye. You're very welcome, have a good one. Same for you. Right. Let's watch one gold bravo leave. Uh, one gold bravo, where are you? There you are. Oh. Yeah, visibility is a little shocking. It's getting better, but not by much. I'm waiting for this North Star to call me, but I'll call. I'll speak to the Alpine in a minute. Um, right. Uh, yeah. 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 Just yeah. It's just all over the news at the minute. Coast Guard plane was on its way to deliver earthquake aid. Oh, yeah, they had that big earthquake on New Year's Day, didn't they? Oh, I wonder what happened. Well, that's a shame. At least all the passengers got out.
I sit down, hello, not stop, two, two, one, or request uh, taxi to gate. North Star 2214 stands to ground. Hello. Taxi to stand 11 left via Hotel Lima, Juliet and Alpha. Taxi to stand 11 left via Hotel Lima, Juliet, Alpha, North Star 2214. Yep, stick him on 11 left. I'll do. Just turn that down just a little bit more for me, please, Bob. Hey, mate. Sorry, my son's watching YouTube. My little co-pilot. Right, let's let's fix the rest of these right, because I know these are all wrong at the minute. Hang on. Ugh. See what can I fix? Uh, where is it? This one. There it is. Touch a board. There we go. Now you can see everything. Oh, the departure board looks so good. Yes, this is still, there are still plans. This is coming out. We are going to, you know, link it to our website and that so you can use it yourself, et cetera, et cetera, and see what's going on. It is coming. It is coming. Obviously, you know, we had a break. Has everyone seen... 175 kilo, ready, oh, ready yeah. when you are. Alpine 175 kilo. Apologies, yeah, I was just about to call you. Clear to Amsterdam. Clacton 2 Echo departure. Squawk 4732. If we're Clacton 2 Echo departure, Squawk 4732. Project 175 kilo. Exec jet 175 kilo, read back is correct. Information hotel current QH 985 hectopascals. Uh, engine startup is approved and report when ready for taxi or push. Information hotel QH 985 hectopascals will come visit 175 kilo. I thought he was an Alpine. Oh, it's EJU Alpine, isn't it? God, I've been making that mistake for the last 10 minutes. I bet the guy's got. said yeah starting up that's fine he's starting up that's fine yeah i was going to say has anyone seen there's been um over like last couple of weeks there's been a like it's it's getting really bad media attention at the minute at san francisco airport because they keep having very like close calls and it's getting really bad to the point now like people are like people in the aviation industry in the aviation world like real life aviation they're making like youtube videos on it and stuff going what the fuck is going on at san francisco because they keep having these close calls and it's getting really hairy because they're just if it's at one so far kid we're christmas taxi via golf hold short uniform as i don't require for a lamp Exec jet 175 kilo, Roger, taxi to holding point uniform, runway 22 via Foxtrot and Golf. Taxi to runway uh, 22 via Foxtrot and Golf, exec jet uh, 175 kilo. So, yeah, it's, I've, I've just, I, it came up on my YouTube feed the last few days that there's just been a few. Um, Videos from like people that like cover aviation world, like real life stuff. Going, what is going on at Thingy? Oh, you're joking! Is it? Was it a three fifty? You know, I saw something in the news the other day saying like, and the the three fifty had has got like one of the best records, and it's like it's had no incidents since the plane was introduced. Yeah, 350. <gasps> no.
The only bit I don't know is, is there any news on like what collided into what? Was the, was the 350 about to take off or was the 350 landing? Or was the Coast Guard landing? God, of course they have. Exec Jet 175 Kilo, just check your squawk please, 4732. Zetjet 175 Kilo. Zetjet 175 Kilo, Roger. Thank you very much. No further ATC available. Free call Unicorn 122 Decimal 8. Have a safe flight. Bye bye. 122 Decimal 8. Thank you for your help. Take care. Andrew, Happy New Year. You too. Right. Cool. And the 350 was landing. Ooh. So what do we what are we thinking straight away? We what thinking the 350 came into land and maybe a runway incursion from the Coast Guard? Because to go into flames like that, they've obviously hit the wing because that's the most obvious thing. They've hit the wing, hit the fuel, and the fuel's just gone whoosh. Stansted ground, good day, both Fort Fast, Quebec, uh, Alpha, uh, Airbus A320 uh, at stand four to left. Hotel on board, request IFOC to be in at cycle 370. <sighs> oh, hang on. Uh. Ryanair 5, Quebec, stands to ground. Good morning. Clear to Vienna, Clacton 2, Echo departure, squawk 6313. Clear to Vienna, Clacton 2, Echo departure, squawk 6313 to Vienna, uh, Ryanair 5, Quebec. Ryanair 5, Quebec. Reback is correct. Information hotel, current QNH 985 hectopascals. Report when ready. We'll report ready for 5, Quebec. Yeah, no, I agree to it. No, but I was just like, because that's the only, like, I'm guessing, straight, unless something weird happened, but yeah. That's just what it says to me. If, if the 350 was coming into land... It's got to have been a run there's been a runway incursion at some point or something's gone wrong at that phase. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, um, going back to San Francisco. Yeah, has anyone else seen them? There's been lots of videos going about at the minute about the shocking incidents at San Fran where like planes are just like cause, um, San Francisco. For those of you who don't know, um, is very famous for having what they call parallel runways. So they do because they um, San Francisco Airport, the, their main two runways go out to out the water. So what they'll do is they'll have two planes come in like this, line up, and then they'll land together. However, apparently recently it's been getting very, very hairy where they've been just bringing them in way too close to each other or the planes that are coming in. There's supposed to be a little bit of separation. I'll, I'll do it like this so you guys can see my hands. They're supposed to come in like this. Sometimes they'll come in a bit close, but what's happening is they're coming in so close like this towards the runway that their TCAS is going off, so they're having to go, ah, and it's just causing bedlam. And then on top of that, you've got parallel planes coming into land. They're trying to get planes to take off as well, and it's just, oh, uh, there's been so many close calls at San Fran at the minute. It's just ridiculous to the point now, like, the um, what is it? Oh, what's the American... The FAA, they're like, San Francisco's currently like under investigation and everything. And every time there's been an incident and it goes out on YouTube or on social media of like, oh God, it's happened again. The FAA are like, yeah, we know, we're looking into it. Ooh. Oops. Ah. Ooh. Sorry, I've just seen there's been a um, there's been an update. Apparently, there's a new London sector open forever. Anyone know about this? Oh no! But yeah, we we are no. Oh, look. 
That's the most botty sounding uh, <laughs> username ever. Yes, welcome to the channel. Yes, we are. We are aware. We have seen it. It's tragic. We hope, you know, we hope everyone's all right. I said, not going to speculate, but yeah, it's, it's, it definitely sounds like a runway incursion. Something's happened. Just hope everyone's all right. All we know for certain at the minute is that all the um, passengers got off the 350. And like someone said, unfortunately, that is now, after it was just celebrated a few years ago, that is unfortunately the A350 spotless record gone for like not having accidents or crashes. I'm pretty sure I want to say the 350, I think it did have the records for like from being introduced, it had the, the longest spotless run. Uh, am I under? I don't think I am. Let me double check. Oh, runway veers. What's the low veers procedure? Because I'm a bit rusty. I always have it on the notepad file. Runway 2-2. Two, two. Uh, low visibility is when the IVR is 600 meters. No, it's 4,300. Or the cloud ceiling is 200 feet. It's broken at 200. So, no, I'm good. It's not low vis. If it was overcast at 200 feet, absolutely would be. No, I've got visibility at the minute, 4,300 meters. God. Oh, that's really sad. I'm amazed, though. I've got to admit, let's, let's be fair. If that is what has happened, John. Uh, I mean, I would be under safeguarding. Oh, but I mean, I'm so quiet. I don't think it really matters at this point. Ah. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Uh, why is 7-1 Tango Lima coming back in again? He's just showed up. Where is he? There he is. Okay. I don't know what 7-1 Tango Lima's doing. He's just flying about my airspace. Yeah, I've just seen a ping come up on my app saying the... Um, London Midlands is now a thing. What's London Midlands? Apparently it was something they had to open for events, but apparently they're opening it all the time. Okay, let me have a look. Have a look what this is about. Area sectors. Uh, no. TC Midlands. Ooh. The TC Midlands is an upper terminal control sector and associate position will be implemented on a permanent basis as a split of AC Daventry. TC Midlands may be opened as long as the AC Daventry airspace is staffed in the same way the TC East may be open as long as AC Clacton airspace is open. Ah, oh, okay, TCM. Okay. Interesting. So have they created, like, because, okay, TC Midlands, because there's obviously London. Oh, okay. This is interesting. AC Daventry. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, they've made a new, they've made a new, like, low-level... 
Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this will come up. Would it come up? It should do. Yeah, they've made a... They've made a new... Um, a new sector. Called TC Midlands. Apparently they only used to open it for events. So it covers Birmingham. It's basically just this whole... Because this is Luton. Heathrow's just down here on this picture. Stanny's here. So it just covers this sector here. So all of my, like, westerly and northerly departures would all go through TC Midlands. And then there's Daventry above it, uh, which everyone would know is... Okay. Interesting. I'll have to see how that figures out into everything else. 7-1 Tango Lima's inbound. Switch back for you guys so you can see. Uh, let's give you that one. So yeah, that's a new bit of information. The new sector will be fully incorporated into the VMATs. Okay. Because obviously the, the two big TC areas, there's TC... So what would, that, what would TC Midlands be then? Because usually LTC is like London, and then you've got Manchester TC. Ooh, I don't know. I'll have to ask one. I'll have to ask Dan about that. How does that one fit in? It fit into the grand overall picture. Because if I look at this, so Daventry. Because usually London Central is London Central is Daventry. Yeah, and London East, also known as Clacton, together. But they've made an LTC sector for it. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it in my head of how this is working. Right, 7-1 Tango Lima's back. Hello. He hasn't made it very far because he was my departure. He was going to Dublin. What's this tilted? Rolina, San Juan Tango Lima, currently holding short on the Mozambique bar, requesting taxi to any available stand. Rolina, right 7 1 Tango Lima, stand to the ground. Hello again. Taxi to stand free free via November, Juliet, and Bravo. Taxi stand free free via November. Juliet and Bravo. Ryanair 7 1 Tango Lima. So, yeah, that's, that's an interesting one. So, where's the LTC sectors? Uh, London Terminal Controls. Yeah, see, okay, so they've made, they have really made a new one. Because, look, this is, this is what I know as thingy. Hang on, I can hear explaining in the background. There we go. So, yeah, this is usually what the LTC sectors are. So, these are like the low. So, if you think of it like a, like a cake, so. Oh, no, go, no, I'm showing off all my photos. So, yeah, this is like the high level sectors, right? So, if you think of it like top down, right? So, these are, these are the London LON sectors and all their breakdowns, right? So, so, and a lot of these get grouped together, as you can see from this little diagram here. So, usually London D and London S get merged together and just get called London South. London E and London M usually get merged together and get called just London Central. London West is a thing all on its own. And London North West and London North East usually get merged together and you get called London North, which is this bit. So you've got essentially North, Central, South, and West, right? 
And then below them, you have the LTC sectors or terminal control. So think of it as the plane's coming down. You start in these sectors. And then when you get below a certain altitude. Oh, oh why have you changed the picture? That's not what I wanted. Stupid thing. There. Then you enter. If, particularly if you're going into the London area. Like Gatwick, Heathrow, Stansted, Luton, etc. You enter London Terminal Control airspace. So then they hand you off. It's just a way for them to handle all the traffic. And then obviously that's broken down into four sectors. Northwest, Northeast, Southwest, Southeast. Or usually they get grouped together. So the purple ones are London, LTC North. The orange ones are LTC South. Again, self expand And then obviously the airport colours show you on this diagram which one's covered by which airport. And their frequencies, although I think the frequencies might be out of date. But now they're creating a L LTC Midlands over here. Because Manchester's got a one as well called an LTC area. So in theory, if all of them were open, you'd have terminal control from Manchester all the way across the Midlands and all the way into London. Now, that's quite interesting. An interesting way to do it. But yeah, so that's usually so. That, like I said, so the so if you imagine it just like that, so this is the high level and this is the low altitude area, and then below that you've got the um, approach controllers for the airport. So you imagine it like layers of a cake. You start at the high ones, which are this one or what's known as LON London, and then you go down as you come down. You leave their layer and then you go into the LTC layer, and then they handle you then. And then when you get even lower and closer to the airport, they hand you off to the approach controller for that airport. And then the approach controller brings you, or director, so like Gatwick director, Heathrow director, then bring you in the rest of the way. So yeah, the LTC, you just get them. The reason they're made is obviously because London is such a busy area. High level London just needs someone to delegate and delegate the roles, you know, or um, not delegate, share the workload. Uh, London is where the ATC centre is. No, actually, it's in Shanwick. It's actually... Shanwick is like... It's about here, isn't it? Someone help me on the map. Yeah, Swanwick, not Shanwick. Swanwick. Yeah, it's all... I'm sure Swanwick's about here, isn't it? If I remember rightly. I, I need, I'll let me... Uh, I, I was going to private window myself so I don't inadvertently Google myself and show my home address. That'd be funny. Uh, there's one week's down here, isn't it? Oh, what a shout it is. Yeah. It's one week. Just, yeah, just out of Southampton. So I was a little off because I said it was down here. Yeah, that's one week. And that's where the big ATC center is for the whole country. Because now they just like remote control everything from really far away. So, yeah, that's where Swan Wick is. But that is the big ATC center. That's how that works. So, yeah. Uh, switch back to that. Cool. Brown, Panic 736, requesting pushback. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Chanex, stands to ground. Good morning. Or not, you're just going to disconnect. Okay. <laughs> yeah oh no that kid whoever he is bless him he's filed he's a boeing apparently he was a boeing 736 with just the call sign chanex all in capital letters flying to gatwick and his routing was first flight 
Oh, no, 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 no. I need an alias. I need a text alias to say, hi, if this is your first flight. No, no, he's come back. No, 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 no. This I can't fix this. Uh, Dunstead Ground, 10X 736, requesting pushback. Chanex 736, stands to ground, hello. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give you pushback clearance because I haven't given you departure clearance and um, I'm going to message you over text, all right? Okay. All right, I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I can't fix that. His flight plan is so wrong. Um. Oh, Sally's in with a clip. Yeah. The, oh, this guy. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a kid. Bless him. But yeah, he's just filed with the call sign Chanex. He's flying as apparently a Boeing 736. Apparently. He's flying from Stansted to Gatwick and his routing is just first flight. I've just said very nicely to him in the text chat. I'm like, mate, I think you need to go do some research offline before because Vatsim's a realistic multiplayer network. You have to do the same as in real life. And I just don't want him to get in trouble with supervisors because if he does this, he's going to get in trouble. He's got no routing. He's just filed Stansted to Gatwick. He's apparently a Boeing 736, which I don't think even right because he keeps calling himself Chanex 736. So he hasn't even done his aircraft right. And he's literally just put in the route first flight. Right, I'll show you guys the screenshot. No, I'm not. I'm not going to hand him to Unicom because Gatwick Direct is online. And I'm not Gatwick Direct. I'm not doing it to Gatwick Director because this guy he won't know what he's doing. Ah, oh, cool, he's gone. He just put, yeah, I just joined yesterday, so I'll do that. Thanks, I just put cool. I was just looking out for him because I just don't want him to get in trouble. Gatwick Director's online. There's no way. If he tries to fly into Gatwick Director's airspace, who's only got a ground controller belief, be beneath him, and he doesn't know what he's doing, he's just going to cause madness and chaos. So 
No. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, doing it. Like I said, I don't care if you're 12 years old or you're 50 years old. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing. I will try and head them off at the pass and be like, if it was, if he was rough and just like he knew the fundamentals, I would let it go and be like, you know, just be careful. But he, when he's literally filed his call sign as that, it's like, no, nope, 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 not doing it. Yeah, exactly. Tilted. If you cause madness and chaos and you know what you're doing, what do you think someone's going to do who doesn't know what they're doing? Yeah. Like I said, actually, and I'll give that kid props, right? And I'll give him a big round of applause, right? And a big thumbs up to him because I told him, look, this is a realistic multiplayer network. The whole point is to do what they do in real life. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get in trouble and they will just ban you and then you're ruined because you'll never be able to make another account again. So just go away and I suggest you just go and do some research first before you try and do oh, it. And he's just done it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima stands to the ground. Hello again. Can you just confirm your aircraft type for me, please? Boeing 737-800. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, thank you. Clear to Birmingham on the Utava 1 Romeo departure. Squawk 7636. Clear to Birmingham via the Utava 1 Romeo departure. Squawk 7636. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima. Ryanair some one Tango Lima, read back is correct. QH 984 Hector Pascals, report when ready. QH 984 Hector Pascals, and I'll report when ready. Ryanair yeah. some one Tango Lima. Because, yeah. Like I said, so fair play to the kids because he absolutely he just he took it and was like, no, it's fine. I just joined yesterday. I'll go do that. And he's disconnected. Top 10 out of 10 for him. I've got no issue with people like that. It's when you get the ones that are like that who clearly don't know what they're doing and then you try and be nice to them and say, look, it screams you literally have no understanding of what you need to be doing. Go and learn, then come on the network and then they just scream at you down the frequency. Want taxi? Give me taxi. I want to take off. No, no. And you try and do it nice and say, look, mate, no, 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 no. And then they just go, mm, and it's just like, oh. or they just flat ignore you and just start taxiing or just gone rogue. And then it's immediately dot wallop, call sign, ignoring my instructions, hasn't been given clearance, yada, 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 doesn't know what he's doing, you know, and it's just like, ugh. And like I said, if that kid flew in, like I said, if that kid did that and flew into Gatwick Director, Gatwick Director would absolutely wallop him within the, within an inch of his life, and it'd be done. It'd just be like bang, wallop, done, and a supervisor would be here in ten seconds and be like, "What's he doing?" I don't even know who's on Gatwick Director. Who is on Gatwick Director? Uh, oh, it doesn't say. And it's a veteran as well. So, yeah, he probably could handle it. But, yeah, just... I don't. First Wings events. I need, to, I need to get an alias in for that, actually. Yeah, obviously, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to watch that on stream. So, yeah, all props to that kid. Well done for just taking taking the thing in, just going, okay, I'll, I'll quit. Tonight. 
God, I bet it's awful. Okay. Oh yeah, I figured it would. So, I figured someone probably, you know, I figured it was going to be someone's going to have a video of it because it's an airport. There's going to be plane spotters everywhere, isn't there? Right, yo. Oh, now it's gone a bit quieter. Actually, I should make that alias actually while I'm here, shouldn't I? Uh, let's go. Let's just quickly make this alias up. Have we, is, is there an, even an alias for... Um, alias means tech shortcut, by the way. Uh, for data alias. Is there one for... Like, you're clearly new. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Because you're you're clearly in trouble, gonna get in trouble. Oh yeah, there is new pilots. <gasps> Vats in corner the code that now requires pilots to be able to comply with ATC instructions at flying head and speed and levels. It seems you're uh, <gasps> comply or knowingly non-compliant. If you are able to fo follow further instructions, oh, ooh, yeah, they've added some. This is new. They've added like loads of like thingies for new pilots. I see you're new to that. Uh, I was suggesting you. Know. Ooh, yeah, okay. So yes, there is an alias. Nice. I didn't know time accelerations allowed in Unicom's airspace. Is that true? I thought it wasn't allowed at all. Whilst time acceleration is permitted in uncontrolled airspace, it isn't whilst under the control of ATC. Please return to normal simulation rate or disconnect. Code of conduct B9 refers. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, you can tell it. Oh, I like that. Uh, yeah, there's a warning one. The VATSIM code of conduct now requires pilots to be able to comply with further in instructions, such as flying head in speeds and levels. It seems you are unable to comply or are knowingly non-compliant. If you are unable to follow further instructions, I will need to call a supervisor. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, ready for push. Nice. Uh, who is that? Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, stand free free, push and start is approved. Push start approved, Ryanair 71 Tango Lima. So yeah, they've already done it. Uh, what other ones are there? Uh, there's a broadcast, a reminder to always check the SID charts for initial climb restrictions every time you fly. Uh, Ryanair 1019, ready to check. Ryanair 1019, stands to ground. Hello, readability E5. Uh, Ryanair 1019, uh, stand 22. Uh, aircraft touch 737, requesting IFR to Amsterdam with information in India. Ryanair 1019R, clear to Amsterdam, Clapton 2, Echo departure, Squawk 7262. Uh, clear to Amsterdam, Clapton 2, Echo departure, Squawk 7262, Ryanair 1019R. Ryanair 1019R, read back is correct, QNH 984, Hector Pascal is reporting ready. Yeah, so that's cool. But they've added new ones. That's very cool.
You should see how many aliases I've got for Stansted. <laughs> But yeah, I like the fact they've added new ones, and I can send warnings from now to... Whoa, who's that with? Rosaro, well, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on board to Aviators TV. I hope you are doing well and had a great new year. Yeah, Spoonie Masterclass, as always, Paul, you should know this. How you been doing, Paul, anyway, on the network? You surely have logged some hours by now. Hope you're doing well, mate. Where am I on the waiting list? Have I gone down anymore? Let's have a look. That's some UK. Have I gone down in the waiting list? Uh, that's two. Dino's in the waiting list, by the way. He's in. He's got. He's in the training. <gasps> I have as well. I'm down. I've gone down again. I'm 15. Woo! Nice. I'm nearly at 600 hours as well. That's Stansted. 600 hours, baby! Yeah, the weather today is a little shocking, I'm not going to lie. Although it is unusually warm. Cool. Just having a look. Just having a look, reading about this new TC Midlands stuff. There's loads of like thingy on about. It. The only real difference is for me at Stanny, Utava, Nugbo. If there's no Stansted, um, there's no Stansted radar online. Basically, you just hand off to TC North North first. So you, they've just injected it into the or, into the order. But that's fine. Zero, I doubt. Zero, we are ready for mission start. Ryanair one zero one nine R. Uh, check squawk please seven two six two. Let's go seven two six two. Stop that. Ryanair 1019, thank you. Stand 2 2, push and start is approved. Uh, stand 2 2, push and start approved. Stand 1 0 9. Oh, did you, Paul? Alright, Blunder. See you in a minute, mate. Was it busy? New Year's Eve? Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, taxi holding point Romeo 1, runway 22, via Bravo, Hotel and Romeo. Taxi holding point Romeo 1, via Bravo, Charlie and Romeo. Ryanair 71 Tango Lima. Oh dear. I've just seen on the news, Wayne Rooney's been sacked as manager of Birmingham Football Club after only 15 games on the job. Whoops. Well, that's his managerial career over.
Oh dear, that's not good. I didn't even know where he, he was manager of Birmingham, to be honest. <laughs> oh, not that much of a motorway, but yeah, it's just come up. Birmingham of City have sacked manager after just 15 games in charge. Oh. So basically, he was given a job. Apparently, it was already controversial because they, just, they sacked the previous manager, even though he was doing well in the job. Oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah, basically, they had a manager who was... Ryanair 71 Tango Lima, no further ATC available. Free call Unicorn 122 decimal 8. Have a safe flight. Bye-bye. Contact Unicorn 122 decimal 8. Goodbye. Have a great rest of your afternoon or morning, I should say. You too. Take care. You too. This Paul, I was doing ground when a tower controller asked me if I didn't mind doing London. I was, I was about to start streaming about 10 aircraft. It's very lucky for me, someone came. The radar was on, and we already started. Yeah, that's a good way to learn. Yeah, yeah, welcome to a uh, thingy Ryanair 1019 uh, taxi holding point Romeo 1 runway 22 via Bravo Hotel and Romeo. Romeo 1022 via Bravo Hotel and Romeo Rhino on Romeo. Oh, God. Yeah, there's going to be lots of that going around, I think. So yeah, hopefully 2024 will be the year of Spoonie getting his S2. Are you all looking forward to that? Oh! So yeah, let's hashtag it now. Hashtag 2020, as the kids say. Hashtag. Yeah, 2024. The year of the, uh, the year of the tower. Ryanair 1019, no further ATC available. Free call Unicorn 122, decimal 8. Have a safe flight. Bye-bye. 1228, uh, thank you very much for having me. And to you, take care. I know. Uh, well, no, not a full S2. Basically, all of us on the net, on the channel, Paul, are S1s, with the exception of Dan. He's an S3. But he got his S3, like, years and years and years ago. So he's been an S3 for ages. He took a massive long break off the network. So, yeah, he hadn't been an S3 in God knows how long.
but yeah, he came back, da 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 da, caught back up, and then, well, that's how um, I met him, really. Uh, yeah, it can be. But I say I would, if I was doing tower, like if I'm streaming, I wouldn't mind at all. But I thought, do you know what I mean? It, that's, that's the game you play. If you're going to do tower and someone comes on ground, don't. Like, I can understand if it was completely dead, like doing Stanny right now. If I was on at Stanny with like two aircraft on the ground and someone comes on the ground, I would be a bit, yeah, but I wouldn't mind because at the end of the day, that's, it's real. Do you know what I mean? It's not my fault. Do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't care in the slightest. Unfortunately, that's the game you want to play. At the end of the day, if you want to guarantee ground as an S2, just log on as ground then. You don't have to be an S1 to do ground. Just do ground then. Because at the end of the day, the mantra is you staff it and they will come. So if there's a ground and a tower on, you're more likely to get traffic anyway, which is going to make you busier. So the argument of, oh, yeah, but that screws you because then you don't have as much to do. But it's like, but yeah, that's kind of the point. You're a tower controller. You should, you know, that's how it works, I'm afraid. I would never, ever turn around and someone is so like, even now, if I was on tower and someone logged on standing ground, I wouldn't be mad. But like, oh, hello, mate. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah, Paul, that's absolutely in the plan. God, as soon as we start getting our S2s, we've got so many plans. It's just we need an S2. We just absolutely need an S2 on the team. As soon as we got that flexibility and that we can cover everything at an airport, we're, we're golden. Trust me, the, the content options open greatly on the channel. We're just a little bit stuck at the minute because we're all S1s except for Dan. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I love that mantra that I think was it. I can't remember who always said it. Was it Pilot Adam? I'm sure, it was Pilot Adam. Who always used to say it was staff it and they will come. And it's true. It's one of the reasons, like I said, Stanny used to be an absolutely dead airport. No one would fly out of Stansted. And I just sat here as ground day in and day out and day in and day out and just did it. And then all of a sudden, I just kept getting regulars coming in, coming in, coming in. So it is, you know. This is why Stanny will always be like my home airport, because I've put so much time into it just to get it a bit active, because it was... When I joined the network as an S1, it was dead. No one was controlling Stanny at this time of day. No one at all. And then I used to get... Met, this is how I met Fate Weaver and I met other guys because they'd jump in as well and go, oh, da 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 And then we just start, we kept staffing it. And the more we staffed it, the more aircraft we got. Like I said, I remember there were days actually Stanny... Us at Stanny beat out Gatwick for traffic, because we just had it staffed, and Gatwick only had like a ground controller, kind of like it has right now, it's only got a ground controller on it right now, director's gone, and logged off. Because I said, the biggest pro one of the biggest problems at the minute is, everyone wants to do Gatwick, because all the traffic's there, but then all the traffic goes to Gatwick, because all the controllers are there, so it's a vicious cycle, that's why Heathrow and Gatwick always get the traffic because all the controllers go there because all the pilots go there. All the pilots go there because all the controllers are there. And it just goes round and round in circles and no other airport gets love. Which is why I was like passionately like, no, I am doing Stansted. Stansted because, you know. Mm, you know, okay, I haven't put, been able to put as much time in as I used to because real life work, blah, 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 doing the stream and that. So I have to write it up. Yeah, back in the day before I started Aviators, oh Jesus, we were, I was on Stanny ground like three, four times a week, just this time of day, just sitting here. Sometimes it'd be dead, sometimes it'd be busy.
Uh, no, you're not. Oh, uh, I don't know why. Are you in range? Where are you coming from? Uh, East Mids, aren't you? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah you're probably just not in range yet. You're not even coming up on my Euroscope yet either. You will be. Yeah. It is a grind. It is an absolute grind. But if you can do it, they will come. You just got to be patient. Because this is why, like I said, particularly with Gatwick, Gatwick has such a bad reputation. I don't know if it's got better because I haven't really spoken to many people in the Vatsim, like UK network recently because I've been busy in that. But uh, like Vatsim, um, Gatwick, when I first joined the network as an S1, Gatwick had an absolute dog shit rep at the, at the time for just being always a mess because it'd just be absolutely rammed. It'd be absolute chaos. And then you'd get someone who didn't know what they were doing, j just literally like a monkey, just throwing a wrench in it. And the whole, the whole airport would just grind to a halt. And it'd just descend into... <laughs> on the network and everyone rowing and kicking. And it was just, oh, for God's sake. Oh, London Central's on. I've got full cover. Woo! Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Choo-choo and Juliet. So yeah, London's uh, Stanley's now fully covered because London Central just come on. Now. Yeah, Paul, you'd be more than welcome, mate. You know you would. Um. Yeah. So yeah, Gatwick just had such a bad rep for just it just being madness at Gatwick because it would just be rammed and the controllers and just losing their minds because then you get pilots on that, yeah, aren't competent and then it just descend into chaos. So I was just like, well, no, why am I going to subject myself to that? I'd rather just do Stanny. So I just did. I just sat at Stanny and sat and sat and sat and sat and sat. The only reason I even did my Gatwick endorsement was because I started streaming. I really wasn't fussed about getting my Gatwick endorsement at all. And then I started up the channel and everything with Dino and the others. And I was just like, okay, I'll get my Gatwick endorsement because then at least then I've got something, you know. Because don't get me wrong, Gatwick's got its challenges, do you know what I mean, as well. It's just naturally a busier airport and da-da-da-da-da. But yeah, I wasn't fussed about at all. Because I was like, you know... Gatwick was like, you know, the favoured stepchild. And it was like, oh, everyone loves Gatwick. Everyone goes to Gatwick. So I was a bit like, uh, what's the word? The contrarian in me was just like, no, I'm going to do Stanny. Let's give Stanny some love. And I always say, if you, you know, come to Stanny's, particularly if you're like learning and new on the ropes, it's a lot easier. It's a lot smoother. Or if you just want a quick departure out of the UK, come to Stanny. Why do Gatwick? Stanny's just as far away, particularly if you're heading eastbound. Just come to Stanny. Do your Clacton, just straight out over the east coast. Job done. Like, and if you, you ain't got time to muck about kind of thing, just come to Stanny. You know, depart from Stanny, you can be out over the east coast in like 20 minutes, if that. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, my total hours. Oh, God, my total hours. <laughs> Have a look. Stats. Login. Um, oh. Log me in, please. Uh, that one. Go. Yes, allow. Come on, come on, come on. Let me see my stats. Uh, my stats. I've probably done more controlling now than I actually have done thingy. Um, mm, nearly. Christ, very nearly. So my total hours as a controller, 696 across all airports. So that would be delivery and ground positions, everything. Everything I've done as a controller, 696. I don't know if that counts observer. Does that count observer? It might do. No. Wait, what? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Just as student one. So as an S1, I've done 696 hours as an S1. I did 150 hours of observing on the network and I've been a pilot on the network for 762. So I've almost overtaken. I've done more controlling than I have actually flying. 
Uh, Blue Max wants me. Just to check my flight plan. Uh, it is, but there's a problem with it. Uh, no, it's fine. If, um, why is it saying his routing's wrong? Let's have a look. Flight plan checker, what's wrong with you? Uh, Tenso, Bellox, Remzi, that all looks right. What's the matter with you? Tenso, I've Mark 65. Tenso, Lima 603, the Bellox. Oh, it's because he's got different directs. That's fine. Don't matter. He's out of my airspace by them. Nice. Nice little shortcut for you. That'll, that'll cut the time off. Yep, London Central's online. So, yeah, so now basically there's full. So, yeah, that just makes things a little bit more interesting in UK airspace now with that new TC Midlands. Because now basically we've got TC control. If you. All right, hang on, if I show you. Can I, um, if I print screen that and then go and paint, do this. Just want to go show you. Um, if I switch to this, that works. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. Paste. Come on. Oh, let me paint. God damn it. What print screen is supposed to work? Print screen. Okay, or not. Hey, okay, fine. Just give me the goddamn picture. Right. Uh, how do I edit it? Just save it. Oh, open. Ah, I just want to doodle on the diagram. There it is. So basically, we used to have just two LTC zones. One for LTC for London. So covering pretty much like that. And then we had one for Manchester covering here like that. So those were the two LTC areas. So you had one for Manchester and one for London. Well, now they've added Midlands. If you think about it, Midlands now covers like this. So essentially now you've got full LTC control between the two. That's interesting. That's what they've done. So before where there was just the two zones covering the London airports and the Manchester airports, now you've got two. Now you've got full coverage between the two because they've added the new one in like this. I, I guess it wouldn't be like that. It would be like that. Just like literally in the middle like that. So yeah. Yeah, I should have used Snip. I know. I do. But yeah, that's what they've done. Does that make sense? By adding that new TC zone in. Because that's the, that's the two everyone knows. You got LTC and then what's Manchester TC again? Is it MTC? No, it's not MTC. Oh my god, I don't ever do Manchester. That's why. Uh... What is Manchester? Um... Manchester. You see? What is it actually called? I can't even remember. <clears throat> Uh, just give me the Manchester crib sheet. Oh no, that's the thingy. Ah! Oh. Anyone know? Someone remind me. Manchester TMA. Uh, Manchester crib sheet. Here it is. Give me the file. There it is. Manchester crib sheet. Oh, PC. There it is. It's PC. So yeah. LTC is London and then PC is Manchester, terminal control. And the PC stations use the call sign Scottish, so they actually go by Scottish for some reason. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But yeah, PC go by Scottish. So it's technically Scottish TC. And then London TC. But yeah, there you go. So it's PC. And now they've added, it'll be LTCM. So all they've really done, fr from a pilot's point of view, all they've done is, so you've got Scottish TC for Manchester, like this, and what they've essentially done is made London TC this big, if you had all of them on. Does that make sense? That's what they've done. So now the two literally are linked together like that. Because like I said, do you remember the diagram I showed you earlier? Because you had like... LTC North, which was here. And then you got like LTC South, which was here. 
And now they've created LTC Midlands, which is like all of this. So the three of them blurred together. I mean, these are very rough drawings. Don't hold it against me. But that's what they've done. And now they've made they've made it. So effectively, London Terminal Control covers like all of this. Cool. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And then for you guys going, what the hell? Well, I don't understand. Like, how does the layers work? Uh, no, don't save. So it's like, so if this is the ground, so let's just do a straight line for the ground. So if this is the ground, right? So that's the ground. So if you think of, if you cut the sky up, let's make the sky nice and blue. Hang on. Give me blue sky. Blue sky. There we go. Right. So there's the ground. There's the airport. Oh, that coloring's awful. Just think of it. If you just cut the, the sky up into sections, so like that's London. And you'd have this. And then you'd have like this. So yeah, anything in red. So this area in red, like all of this would be London's, London's airspace, L-O-N. Do it with text, really. So this would be... Uh, give me This would be L-O-N. Ah! The London troll, like that, that you'd see on the, on, the, on the pilot networks. And then the next airspace below would be LTC, like that. And then the next one below that would be, uh, you'd have your approach controller, let's say for Gatwick. You'd have that. And then the next one would be your tower controller. So you would have... Oh, and then you'd have your tower. Ah! That makes sense. There's your layers of your onion. Uh, Ryanair 9 r stands the ground. Good morning. Clear to Vienna. Clacton 2 Echo departure. Squawk 2270. Ryanair 9 read back is correct. QNH 983 hectopascals report and ready. Sorry, does that make it a bit different? There you go. So yeah, that's your different. So yeah, as you work your way down. Does that make more sense? Should I've done it? I should have done it in black, really, shouldn't I? Like that. Now you can see. Look at my pretty diagram. I thought I did quite well with that. There you go. So that's how it works its way down. So when you're looking at them on the pilot climate, and that's what you'd see. I don't know why that letter went so wrong, but <gasps> what's gonna happen? Yeah, okay, I'm leaving it alone now. So yeah, that rough diagram, but you get the idea. So that's where LTC comes into play. It handles in between the two, between the approach the approach controller and the actual airspace controller. They just do this little space in the in the middle. So if your plane was here, uh, so yeah, this was your plane. Then you're under London. So if you if it's here, it's LTC. If it was here, you're under the approach controller. And if you're here, then your tower. Does that makes sense. So as you work your way down, cool. That's me done. I'm done. No more. No more masterclassing for me. I'm done. Visibility seems to have improved at least.
Blue Max 92 Extra Uniform 737-800 Stand 82 Lima with information Julia on board requesting IFR clearance to Belfast. Blue Max 92 X ray uniform stands to ground. Good afternoon. Cleared to Belfast. Utava 1 Romeo departure. Squawk 1255. Squawk 1255. Utava 1 Romeo departure. Blue Max 92 X ray uniform. Reback correct. QH 983 Hector Pascal's report when ready. There you go. There was there's a little spoony masterclass in um, how the uh, London airspace works, and they've just created a new one. That's Slayer. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on board to Aviates TV. Hope you had a good New Year. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, my brain is just I'm I'm still not in gear yet. Not in gear. Not in gear. Oh, I've just seen on the news it's been confirmed the five people have been killed. Oh dear. I can see tilted. Tilted's on his way in. Well, as a viewer of the channel, we're going to have to watch him coming all the way in, aren't we? Let's give him pride of place as well. He wants a Titan stand as well. Titan hangar. There is the Titan hangar. It's up here, isn't it? Stop, stop, ground, hello. Runway 2 to make it to Fiat Lima, Romeo and Texting on Texting Way. What's up? Ryanair 77 Romeo Yankee stands to ground. Good afternoon. Welcome to Stansted. Uh, continue taxi on Lehman, Lima. Second left onto Juliet, please. And then uh, taxi stand 4 5 right. Continue on Lima for taxi to Juliet and uh, taxi to the gate. Uh, 4 5 right. So in a 7 7 Romeo Yankee. God, yeah, tragic. Not good. Not, not good. It's also going to be sad as well, because you know what the Japanese are like about, you know, their honour and making mistakes. God, I hope forbid it's not like a controller error. Oh, I really don't. Blue Max 92, extra uniform, ready for push. Blue Max 92 X ray uniform, check squawk please, 1255. 1255, Blue Max 92 X ray uniform. Yeah, just squawk, mate. If you squawk for me, I'll push up. Blue Max 92 X ray uniform, thank you. Stand 8 2, push and start is approved. Push and start approved, Blue Max 92 X ray uniform. Right then, right then, right then, right then. It comes tilted. No pressure or anything tilted, you know. It's not like we're all watching. <laughs> oh, quickly, quickly, quick, quickly. I've got to remember, where is the Titan hangar again? Is it on the whiskey apron or is it somewhere else? Uh... uh. Stansted, Stansted, where are you, Stansted? Show me Titan. Where's Titan? Uh, it's in flight. Oh, yeah, it's up the top. That's fine. Cool. That's what I thought.
Oh my god, he's absolutely buttered it. Oh my god, he's absolutely glided that down. Oh dear, that's disgraceful. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, you can't even hear that. Hang on, I hit the button, but I forgot to... Oh, butter. Ryan Air 9 three, 3 left, uh, ready for push. Uh, Ryan Air 9 stand 3-3, three, push and start approved. Push approved, Ryan Air 9 And all stations, all stations, standstill broadcast. Information kilo now current, QH 9 8 2 hectopascals. That's new QH of 9 8 2 hectopascals. Standstill out. I know, that was disgusting landing from um, Tilted there. My God, he just made that look easy, didn't he? That looks so buttery, it didn't even look like it gave him a landing ground. Good day, bye-bye. Good day, bye-bye. Right now, 77 Romeo Yankee. Roger, have a good one. Happy New Year. Take care, bye-bye. Thank you, Who's that? Hello, Sunset Ground. This is Zap229 with you. We're currently on, uh, I believe, Victor. You are indeed. Zap229, uh, Stansted Ground. Good afternoon. Welcome to Stansted. Uh, taxi to the Titan Hangar via Golf and Foxtrot. Golf, Foxtrot to the Titan Hangar for Zap229. Cheers. Alexander, thank you for the follow. Welcome on board to Ravates TV. Hope you're doing well, mate. Happy New Year! Oh, itchy nose. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. And to you, mate. And to you. Hope you had a good one. Right then. So, uh, yeah. So that's what? Seven, nine, seven, nine, six on the Twitch. Woo! That's a dance. Um, yeah, seven, nine, six on the Twitch. Thank you very much. Get in there. Almost bro I can't believe we've almost broke 800 already. Oh my days. We're only a year going. Um, so yeah, 796 on the Twitch YouTube now. That's the big one because that's we're trying to hit the target on that, aren't we? That's our big one. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't given us a subscribe, youtube.com forward slash at aviators underscore TV. All of our stream VODs, all of our funny clips, moments, etc. Dino and his plane spotting vids are all on there. Please, please give us a follow. We're trying to hit the magic 500 on it because then all the cool stuff unlocks. And we're so close. Um, we're currently 397 on the, uh, subscribe account on YouTube. So we've got 103 to go. We hit 103 more subscribers on YouTube and we're there. We've done it. It's all unlocked and we're going to be doing streams on YouTube and everything. We just want to hit that 500 first before, you know, and we're going to do multi streams and everything on both channels. It's going to be great. Yes, we're so close. We're so, so close. I'm around and ready for taxi. Uh, who's that? Ryanair 9 hour taxi holding point Romeo 1, runway 22 via Bravo Hotel and Romeo. Bravo Hotel and Romeo to Romeo 1 for 2 Ryanair 9 -hour. So yeah, we are so, so close. So if you haven't given us a subscribe on the YouTube, please do. Ding the bell and all that crap and like our videos. Mostly at the moment, it is just our stream VODs get dumped on it. But, you know, we have got plans in the future to do more specific. And we we want to do um, one idea I've come about is doing a not stream VODy session on a ground position or something where I'm just doing the controlling. Because I think a lot of the YouTube 
watchers are a bit like, oh, yeah, but he rabbits on and on and on and on and on because obviously I'm talking to you guys. But for YouTube content, it doesn't work as well. So I'd rather just, I don't know, maybe later on down the line do some specifically targeted for YouTube. So it's just me doing the controlling, keeping stum. So that way the guys can just watch what's going on and enjoy uh, a firm. What does that sound like? Does that sound like a good idea to you guys? Right, let's get Ryan Air 9 in the view. We'll switch back to radar view. So yeah, that is something I definitely want to do. So it's not just our stream for... Ground, afternoon to you, it's Ryanair 7 Yankee Tango, stand 63, information kilo, tap 737800, clearance to Bologna, please. Bologna. Ryanair 7 Yankee Tango, stands to ground, good afternoon, clear to Bologna on the Clacton 2 Echo departure, Squawk 6476. For your tip, Bologna, Clacton 2 Echo, and Squawking 6476 for Ryanair 7 Yankee Tango. Ryan S7 Yankee Tango, read back is correct. QNH 9082 Hector Pascals, report when ready. Oh, uh, report when ready and uh, 982 for uh, 7 Yankee Tango. Ryan Air 9 uh, contact London Control on 127 decimal 105. Have a safe flight, bye bye. 127105, Ryan Air 9, bye bye. Happy New Year. And to you. Go for 5 Quebec, uh, Quebec, ready to push and start. Ryanair, 5 Quebec, hello, readability 5, that's much better. Stand for 2, push and start is approved. Oh, he went one quiet and didn't answer. I'm just gonna... Push and start approved for uh, Ryanair, 5 Quebec. Oh, he's fixed. Uh, we got one guy showing his red, invalid syntax. That means he's going to have a step climb. Yep, there it is. I wish the plugin would ignore the step climbs. Thank you. Uh, Alexander, yes, it can. Because uh, A350 is only a cat D. So, yeah, it can. Uh, no, sorry, it's a cat E. Blue Max 92 Extra Uniform ready for taxi. Blue Max 92 X ray uniform, taxi holding point Sierra 1, runway 22 via Echo Hotel and Sierra. He's watching my stream. I can hear him in the background. Taxi holding point Sierra 1 via Echo Hotel Sierra. I can hear me. <laughs> I could hear I could hear the stream delay, so I could hear me giving him the controllers as he's listening. Top tip, guys: if you're watching the stream and you're flying out of Stanny at the same time, turn me down when you go to talk to me. Otherwise, you'll hear the the delay will throw you out. So just when you know you're going to talk to me, just turn the turn the stream down to mute it all the way. You're welcome, Tilted. As always, mate. You're very, very welcome. I can move then. Yeah, I gave you tax instructions. Ryanair uh, 6 Papa Whiskey, ready to check. Ryanair 6 Papa Whiskey stands to ground. Good afternoon, readability 5. Uh, good scenery for X plane. Alexander is the uh the boundless, boundless Stansted. 
It's a little bit heavy on the frames, but it's all right. It's good. It's the best one there is. Uh, freeware, oh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if you're going to go freeware, you might as well just use like default gateway scenery. But yeah, boundless if you want to go payware. Is absolutely fine. And that's a boundless is what I'm using. Yeah, no worries, mate. Has ground uh, very good afternoon to you, Ryan S. It's five whiskey is going to kilo uh, stand uh, two two uh, Boeing seven thirty eight. Uh, requesting our two nonce. Nonce. Right there, six Papa Whiskey stands to ground. Hello again. Clear two nonce on the Nugbo one Romeo departure. Squawk two one five zero. Clear two nonce, rider uh, Nugbo one Romeo departure. Squawk two one five zero. Right now, six Papa Whiskey. Right now, six Papa Whiskey. Reback correct. QH nine eight two Hector Pascal's report when ready. We'll report right now, six Papa Whiskey. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah, Paul, uh, double underscore is what's called the relief call sign. So that lets you log on while I'm still online. So yeah, it's EGSS underscore underscore GND. You just add an underscore and that's the relief call sign. And yeah, that's how you do it. So yeah, I, 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 I won't... Mm. I'll be on for a little bit more, but I will, I'm not staying all the way to like half one uh, like I usually do because I've got a lot I need to do today. So I'll probably be on for a little bit longer, do this little sesh maybe, and then, yeah, Paul, you can jump on, mate, or you can jump on whenever, you know, you know I'm, I'm easy. Uh Blue Max 92 X ray uniform contact London Control on 127 decimal 105. Have a safe flight. Bye bye. Contact London Control one decimal 127 decimal 105. Blue Max. I think he accidentally untook his. I think he accidentally unpressed his uh, push stop button there. Uh, this guy's going to Edinburgh, but he's saying his flight level's wrong. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's too, he's, I know, he's, he's missing an upper. Uh, he should be up in November. Thank you. No, why is that wrong? And ground, Ryanair, 7 Yankee Tango. Ryanair, 7 Yankee Tango, pass your message. Yeah, is it okay if we reconnect with a different call sign? Because uh, it seems that we're using the wrong call sign for uh, 7 Yankee Tango. Uh, Ryanair, 7 Yankee Tango, A firm, you can use a different call sign, but obviously you'll need to refile your flight plan and yeah, you might as well just be starting again from scratch at that point. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, all right, mate. Stand state ground, easy 540, stand 43 Lima, aircraft type Airbus A320neo, information kilo, Q1 
QNH982 requesting IFR to Glasgow as filed. That is also known as a perfect request. Easy 540 stands to ground. Good afternoon. Clear to Glasgow on the Utava 1 Romeo departure. Squawk 7270. Squawk 7270, Utava 1 Romeo departure, easy 540. Easy 540, reback is correct. Report when ready for push and start. Getting busy all of a sudden. See what I mean? Staff it and they will come. I've now got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8. Liner, 7 Delta Fox, stand 6, 3, information kilo, that's 737 800. It's clearance to Bologna, please. Ryanair 7 Delta Fox stands to ground. Hello. Clear to Bologna. Clacton 2 Echo departure. Squawk 7572. Would you clear Bologna? Uh, Clacton 2 Echo uh, 7572 for uh, 7 Delta Fox. Ryanair 7 Delta Fox, read back correct. QNH 982 hectopascals report when ready. Would you uh, 982 for 7 Delta Fox? Ryanair 6 Papa Whiskey with QNH of 0982, stand 22, ready for push and start. Ryanair 6 Papa Whiskey, stand 22, push and start approved. Push start approved, Ryanair 6 Papa Whiskey, thanks. Yep, yeah, no worries, Paul. Not a problem. Team stands dead. Whoop, whoop. Oh. But yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't do a full day like I usually do streaming today because unfortunately I have got to go work tonight and unfortunately I'm there till midnight, which is always fun because now Christmas is over. It's like, let's rearrange everything back to the way it was. And it's like, oh, for God's sake, we only just pull it back the way it is. So basically, a month, you know, was it September, October? We move the whole store around and then literally as soon as Christmas is over, it's move it all the way back again. It's like joy to the world. So yeah, I'm there till midnight tonight. Joy of joy of joys. And then I'm literally home at midnight, in bed, and then in oh, Thursday, the kids are back at school. So luckily, it's only tomorrow I've got to do a midnight because my manager loves me. Although if she had her way, I'd probably be there till four in the morning, but not happening. Not while I've got kids. Well, I've got kids, as in, like, I've got to get up for my kids to take them to school. Uh, Ryan F5 Quebec hasn't called me for a while again. I wonder if his mic's gone a bit... Stand the ground, easy 540, stand 43 Lima, request push and start. Uh, easy 540, check squawk please, 7270. Ground, Ryanair 7 Delta Fox, stand 63, ready push and start. Ryanair 7 Delta Fox, stand 63, push and start approved. Push start approved, uh, 7 Delta Fox. Stand to the ground, easy 540, apologies, squawk entered, stand 43L, request push and start. Uh, the north east. Easy 540, are you able to push back onto Charlie West? That's confused him. Yeah, easy 540, affirmative, push back Charlie West. Easy 540, Roger, stand 4-3, push and start approved onto Charlie West. Because 5 Quebec's been there for ages, uh, so. Okay, I'm just going to message him directly and just say, are you okay? Because I haven't heard from you.
Stan Stead, Grand Slam, Easy, 575 Lima, Mike Chuck. Easy, 575 Lima, Stan Stead, Ground, good afternoon, Readability 5. Oh, he's just saying he's having some issues. I said, that's fine, just report when we're ready. Cool. I thought I'd push the easy back onto West because I thought, well, if he then pushes back and then Ryanair 5 Quebec's ready to go, he, he doesn't, he's not blocked. I can then squeeze him out again. That's where my logic was going with that one. Comment below if you think I'm wrong. <laughs> So yeah, I'm currently on my departure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on my departure list. See what I mean? Staff it. Give me a bit of London. So I've got London Central on. Bang. Done. Absolute smooth as bar. He's covering, obviously, all the quiet airports. He's currently covering Birmingham's got a little bit of traffic. East Mids has got a couple of aircraft. I'm covering the busy one at Stanny. He's got nothing at Luton at the minute. But because of all that, he's, you know... Oh, he's actually switching to London East. So he's actually coming off and just covering me. Interesting. Uh, do I fall under London East? Now that is the question. I can't remember. Uh, do I cover London East? Oh. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. So yeah, London Central, he's downgrading himself. So instead of doing Central, he's doing East. So again, I can show you this. So the blue area is currently what he's doing. Hang on. Oh, sorry. Ah. Just give me an aircraft. It doesn't matter. So the blue area is currently what he's doing. So that's all the airspace he's doing. What he's doing is he's downgrading himself to the red area. So instead of doing both, he's just going to be doing the red area instead. All right, so that's what he's now doing. So basically, Birmingham, East Mids are now on their own. So anyone in that area is now on Unicom, and everyone in the red stays with him, which includes me, because there's Stanley right there. So, yeah, it still counts. So, yeah, that's what he's doing. By giving him the wrong line. Ryanair 6 Papa Whiskey, ready to taxi. Oh, don't know. Ryanair 6 Papa Whiskey, uh, can you accept Quebec 1 for departure? Uh, eight time, yeah. Ryanair 6 Papa Whiskey, thank you. Uh, taxi holding point Quebec 1, runway 22 via Bravo Hotel and Quebec. Taxi holding point Quebec 1, runway 22 via Bravo uh, Hotel and Quebec, Ryanair 6 Papa Whiskey. Now, the reason why I asked him that is, one, because I've got all these aircraft that are pretty much going to be ready to go. And also, he's only going to Nantes, so he should be quite lightly fueled. So if I give him Quebec 1, that means I ha I've got these other three aircraft I can juggle between Romeo and Sierra. So he's kind of out of the way as my outlier. Ryanair 7 Delta Fox, ready for taxi. See? Ryanair 7 Delta Fox, taxi, holding point Sierra 1, runway 22, via Delta, Hotel and Sierra. For Jerry Shira 1, runway 22 by Delta Hotel and Shira for Seven Delta Fox. Positively Evil, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on board to Aviators TV. I hope you are doing well. Happy New Year. Oh, we're going to smash 800. Oh, that's 797. Stanford Grand, good afternoon. This is the V575 Lima crossing at IFR Clemson, Manchester as well. We are at gate 6. To right with information kilo on board, QH 982 and other aircraft Airbus A320 near. Perfect. Easy 575 Lima, clear to Manchester, Utava 1 Romeo departure, Squawk 4742. Okay, we're clear to Manchester via the Utava uh, 1 Romeo departure, Squawk 4742, Easy 575 Lima. Easy 575 Lima, reback correct, report when ready for push and start. Just give me all the information. I can just immediately clear you straight out with zero problems whatsoever.
is my scene. Uh, I don't know about raining. It's show. It's yeah. The visibility's gone again. I think it's showing it as actually like thingy. Hang on, oops, wrong one. Wrong, wrong option. So, yeah, it's saying stormy. Easy five four zero. Request taxi. Uh, right, where am I going to get this guy? He's going to Sierra. Easy 540, Taxi Charlie, hold short hotel. Taxi Charlie, hold short hotel, easy 540. Because he can't. Ryanair 6, Papa Whiskey, contact London Control on 118.480. Have a safe flight, bye-bye. 118.480, uh, Ryanair 6, Papa Whiskey, thanks so bye-bye. Take care, have a good one. You too. Done. Yeah. The weather's saying it's, yeah. I can't see it's actively. Hang on, let me just. Whoa. Uh, no, it's not actively showing as raining right this second. Uh, there's light rain. Yeah, it's not actively showing at the minute. I've got the current Meta showing light rain. Uh, I'm X-Plane 11. I need to move over to 12, really, to be fair. Like, properly. Ryanair 7 Delta Fox, contact London Control on 118 decimal 480. Have a safe flight, bye bye. London Control 118 480, it's here, 7 Delta Fox. Have a good one. Easy 540, continue taxi, Charlie, hotel, and Romeo. Hold Romeo 1 for runway 22. Easy 540, did you acknowledge my last? Apologies, yes, I acknowledge uh, Charlie Hotel Romeo. Hold for 2 2. Thank you. It was fine, you're fine, you're fine. Just acknowledge it, we're good. Acknowledge, we're good. Oh, are you now? I know. I'm good, aren't I? With my model matching. That is the kind of 10 out of 10 uh, model matching professionalism you get here at Aviators TV, Tilted. <laughs> Easy 540, contact London Control 118 decimal 480. Have a safe flight, bye bye. Contact London Control 118 decimal. Sorry, can you repeat frequency? 118 decimal 480. 118.480. Uh, thank you. Have a good one. So yeah, looking good, looking good. That Ryanair 5 Quebec disconnected. He obviously his problems. Persisted, unfortunately. I hope he's all right. Uh, Mr. Dan's just woken up because he's pinging me in the uh, Discord. Morning. Good morning. Morning.
Yeah, I need to move over to X Plane 12. Um, but like everything, it was just obviously when X Plane 12 first came out, there was obviously a lot of performance issues and like the free, um, loads of my freeware scenery wasn't cooperating with it because like the taxi lines were disappearing because there were like various add-ons and texture packs that I downloaded for X Plane 11 that didn't work with X Plane 12. So it was just like, ugh. And obviously, X Plane 12, when it first came out, was a bit of a performance hog, so it was just it was better for streaming to just stay on 11. But I do need to move over, really. Right, next on the blocks is 7 Delta Fox. Where is he? Where is he on my list? Uh, I can't even see him. Uh, London Sun said EZ575 Lima. I'm still just a bit new to my charts and stuff. Uh, is it climb via SID to 1700? Uh, what is he on? He's on the Utava. Uh, 575 Lima, stand by. I'll just call you back. Let me just double check the chart for you. Copy that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 5,000 feet in it, Utava. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me Pinboard, Stanley 2 2. Utava, one Romeo. Uh, easy 575 Lima, it's initial climb to 4,000 feet. So you should be at 4,000 by Utava. Covered, I think, very much 4,000. Uh, where's Ryanair 7? Sounds to ground. Good afternoon, Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu. Information Kilo, Boeing 737-800. Stand 53 Lima, requesting alpha clearance. Uh, where's it going? to uh, Leipzig. Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu stands to ground. Good afternoon. Clear to Leipzig on the Clacton 2 Echo departure. Squawk 4771. Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu cleared Leipzig. Clacton 2 Echo departure. Squawk 4771. Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu read back correct. QNH 982 hectopascals report and ready. QNH 982 will call Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, easy get 575, uh, Lima, question, push and start. Stand uh, gate 62 right. Easy 575, Lima, stand 62, push and start approved. Push and start approved, gate 62 right, easy 575, Lima. Yeah, John, I'm very much in that boat as well. Is it really, Paul? Okay, I might change over to 12 then. Yeah. Like I said, the irony is, right, when I'm like streaming my tower view like this on x 11, my frame rate is absolutely perfect. But the minute I actually do a flight, as you've seen, look at all my previous flight streams, my performance is horrible. I don't understand. It really gets on my nerves. I just don't get why it does it. Oh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I get very, I don't know. My performance with X-Plane recently has just been all over the shop. I don't understand why. Yeah, I, yeah, my performance has been a very. Oh, he's got the five four zero has got to move.
Yeah, like I say, I just, I don't know. I just have this constant issue of where I just get this horrific stuttering when I'm like, say like, I'm either just taking off or like at low altitude coming in. All of a sudden, my frame rate just goes absolutely awful. And it's like my CPU is like redlined and I don't get know why. And it's always like coming into so land. Between like... Yeah. Ryan at 8 Kilo, Papa, stands the ground. Good afternoon. Cleared to Klagenfurt on the Clacton 2 Echo departure. Squawk 5660. Six, six, Ryan at 8 Kilo, Papa, read back is correct. QH 980, Hector Pascals, report and ready. Easy 575 Lima, requesting taxi. Easy 575 Lima, taxi holding point Sierra 1, runway 22 via Delta, Hotel and Sierra. Taxi holding point Sierra 1, uh, runway 22 uh, via Delta, Hotel, Sierra. And all stations, all stations, Stansted Broadcast. Information Lima now current, new Q&H 980, Hector Pascals. That's new Q&H 980, Stansted out. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. It really bugs me. It's like my fr everything's fine and then as soon as I get to really like low altitude, it's like my just everything just starts redlining or if I start rolling down the runway on takeoff, as soon as I get airborne, all of a sudden it just goes Aah! and then my fr it just turns into a stuttery mess. And then as well, what's even more annoying on X-Plane is you've got some scenery that only works like that works better on Vulcan than it does on OpenGL. So if I go roll it back to OpenGL version on x 11 and load up certain scenery, like six, uh, I've got Time Models is Sydney. Time Models is Sydney doesn't work well in OpenGL, so my frame rate is shocking. But yet I load up back in Vulcan and it's fine. It's like, ah, I just can't get a happy medium. Uh -huh. Ground, hello, Rana 94 Hotel Hotel. Ryan Air 94 Hotel Hotel stands the ground. Good afternoon, welcome to Stanny. Taxi second left onto Juliet and hold short of Alpha for now. Uh, I'll give you a stand allocation in a sec. Okay, we are Juliet, hold short Alpha Rana 94 Hotel Hotel. Uh, where shall I stick him? Uh, we'll give him 2 1. Ryan Air 44 Tango Zulu, stand 53 Lima, requesting push and start. Ryan Air 44 Tango Zulu, stand 53, push and start approved. Push and start approved, uh, Ryan Air 44 Tango Zulu. Easy 575 Lima, contact London Control on 118 decimal 480. Have a safe flight, bye bye. Uh, contact to London Central on 118 decimal 480. Happy New Year. And to you, take care.
Yeah, it's just very, it's just very aggravating. But like I said, it also seems to be exacerbated whenever I'm streaming. Like I have the problem a little bit when I'm offline streaming, but the minute I'm streaming it and I'm doing a flight, it's like it just like capturing it in OBS just makes it so much worse. It just goes. So it's like this is why I was saying on one of my last flying streams, I was like, Ryanair eight kilo Papa stand four zero push and start approved. Stand approved Ryanair eight kilo Papa. Like, I do all this testing offline and everything goes fine, but the minute I do it online, it's like no matter what I do to try and fix the situation, and I think I've got it nailed, all of a sudden it just goes, nope, you're streaming it, and it pff, poops the bed, and it's like there's nothing I can do. Hello, Dan. So, but yeah, I can stream, I can have Euroscope and all this captured and blah, 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 and be doing Tower View, and it works just fine. But the minute I try and do a flight, it's just like, nope. And it's always... Okay, a... stay ground. Good afternoon, Friday, 9 one Papa, stand 6-5, right, information, Lima, red copy, IFR to Champino. Wave squawk in, but that's fine. Oh, yeah. Ryanair, 9 one Papa, stands to ground. Good afternoon, clear to Rome, Champino, on the Clacton 2 Echo departure, squawk 0476. Clear to Champino, Clacton 2 Echo, squawking 0476, Ryanair 91 Papa. Ryanair 91 Papa, read back correct. Information Lima, current QNH 980, Hector Pascal's report when ready. We'll go. Why is it reset his stand allocation? Uh, I'm going to give him for, uh, I'm going to give him 2 1. Ryanair 94 Hotel Hotel continue taxi Juliet and Bravo stand 2 1 have a safe um, have a good, have a good day sorry no, 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 no. thank you Juliet Bravo stand 2 1 uh, happy new year uh, see you shortly for now bye bye take care no, 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 no. I just absolutely oh, it's not X plane 12 it's just X plane in general Yeah, no, that one was just, that was me being a div. But like I said, it's, it's so weird, because like I said, particularly when I'm streaming, it does it. But it always seems to be just when you're like coming down at low altitude. I don't know if it's a loading issue, whether it's a graphics issue, just my CPU just goes absolutely redline. And then if you look at the plugin admin on X-Plane, it just says all like all my plugins are doing stuff. And I'm like, why? Why are my plugins all doing stuff? What's going on? I don't understand. So I don't know. I do not know. I do wonder if like just I should just. I don't know, like, wipe my x 11 and all my scenery and just, like, start from scratch. Yeah, yeah, it's x 11. Like, that last that one, like I said, everything was fine, and then as soon as I came low altitude into Sydney, it was just like, uh, frame rate, uh, just went to nothing, and my whole stream just turned into a stuttery mess, even OBS. My, fr my CPU was so pegged, I'm like waving my hand in front of the camera on OBS and I can just see my hand doing this. Because even OBS was like, no, nope. like my whole computer went into a stuttery mess. So yeah, Paul, if you want to come on for one o'clock, mate, and I'll wrap it up then. And then I'll hand off to you, mate.
Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu requesting taxi. Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu, taxi holding point Sierra 1, runway 22 via Charlie, Hotel and Sierra. Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu, taxi holding point Sierra 1, runway 22 via Charlie, Hotel and Sierra. One. Right here, 9 1 Papa pushing start, requesting north facing GSX has stopped working for some reason. And east, so. Right here, 9 1 Papa, Roger, just hold position for now, just got t uh, traffic taxing out of Charlie and then I'll get you going. Will do our position, 9 1 Papa. Give me the ready, right, Papa, give us some taxi. Right here, 8 Kilo Papa, taxi holding point Romeo 1, runway 22 via Charlie, Hotel Sierra. Just be advised that traffic in front of you is also taxiing, so just follow. What is it? Romeo 1 via uh, Romeo 22 via Charlie, Hotel Sierra, when 8 Kilo Papa. Yep. All right, Paul. Actually, I need to start up TeamSpeak then, don't I? TeamSpeak! So we can do the proper handover. Uh, why did that just come out of that it phone? That's wrong. Hang on. Uh, stands dead. What speaker is that coming out of? Options. That's wrong. Uh, playback. That one. Capture. Save. Uh, that one. Bye. Thank you. Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu, contact London Control 118 decimal 480. Have a safe flight. Bye bye. Ryanair 44 Tango Zulu, uh, London Control 118 decimal 480. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good one. Ryanair 91 Papa, stand 65 right, push and start approved, facing northeast on Juliet. Okay, push and start approved, northeast on Juliet, Ryanair 91 Papa, cheers. When I add Kilo Papa, confirm Romeo 1. I firm Romeo 1. Thank you, Romeo 1, add Kilo Papa. And Ryanair 8 Kilo Papa, contact London Control 118 decimal 480. Have a safe flight, bye bye. 118 Uh, no, I'm good on everything shown all right on my stream. On my end. Uh, so, yeah, Paul, I'm ready when you are, mate. If you want to jump down and we'll do the handoff. Yeah, this has been a good little sesh. Been nice, chilled. Been nice to catch up with you guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. Just a nice little chill out one. Been just nice to get back in the saddle. Four four Tango Zulu. Someone's just joined my channel. I know who that is. Hello, mate. Stand to the ground, good afternoon. It's Ryanair 25 Lima Golf, stand 64 left, 
Bowen 738 with Lima, QNH 9880 hectopascals. Request departure clearance to Hamburg, please. Ryanair 25 Lima Golf stands the ground. Good afternoon. Cleared Hamburg. Clacton 2 Echo departure. Squawk 7274. Clear to Hamburg. Clacton 2 Echo. Squawk 7274. Ryanair 25 Lima Golf. Ryanair 25 Lima Golf. Read back correct. Report when ready for push and start. Wilco, Ryanair 25 Lima Golf. Where are. Oh. Get a papa. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, we should have done one like that, unfortunately. Seabird 9021, stand 3 3, requesting IFR clearance to Manchester. Speedbird 9021, stands to ground, good afternoon, no flight plan filed, please check and refile. Right, mate, you ready? Ryanair 91 Papa, taxi. Ryanair 91 Papa, taxi holding point Sierra 1, runway 22, via Juliet, Delta, Hotel and Sierra. Holding point Sierra 1, via Juliet, Delta, Hotel, Sierra. Uh, Ryanair 91 Papa. Uh, Speedbird 921 with information Lima. Stand 3-3 requesting I-4 clearance to, um, uh, to Manchester. Too high, isn't it? Speedbird 921, Stansted, hello. Stand by one, let me just go over your flight plan, I'll call you back. Uh, Roger that. Uh, it's, yeah, got, it's got to be 180. Uh, Speedbird 921, your file flight level is too high for Manchester on your routing. Can you accept flight level 180? Uh, Roger that, I can accept that. Uh, Roger that, Speedbird 921. I've amended your flight plan for you to flight level 180 and I have your clearance. Ready to copy? I'm ready to copy. Speedbird 921, cleared Manchester, Utava 1 Romeo departure, Squawk 7537. Utava 1 departure on Squawk 7137, was that sorry? Negative, Squawk 7537. Squawk 7537, Speedbird 9021. Speedbird 9021, read back correct. QH9080 hectopascals, report when ready. Okay, Paul, you ready to take it? Report when ready, Speedbird 9021. ATIS is Lima, 2 2 active. Uh, Ryanair 91 Papa, I'll hand him off just before we're done. Uh, Ryanair 25 Lima Golf is cleared, as is Speedbird 9021. That no one else is cleared or moving. Okay, no worries. I've dropped the 8s now, so you can take it. And then I'll get rid of 91 Papa, and then it'll all be yours. No worries. Right, so. Sort out 91 Papa and then hand off to Paul. Uh, where is he? 91 Papa. There you are. Bloop. Yeah, unfortunately, Surly, I'm not the artist in the group, so the uh, the channel the channel logos are not mine. I could do a channel logo, but it would look like, you know, if I could use MS Paint and look like a three-year-old had done it. Ryanair 91 Papa, no further, eight, uh, sorry, correction, contact London Control on 118.480. Have a safe flight, bye-bye. 118480, Ryanair 91 Papa, cheers. Take care, happy new year. Same to you, mate. Okay, 91 Papa's handed off to London, uh, frequencies all yours. Yeah, you too, mate. Da -da 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 -da. Right, that's me done. Thanks for that. Hopefully, hang on. Go back a minute. Ryanair 25 Lima Golf, stand 6 4 left, push and start approved. 
push a start proof runner too far to let me go. And they have no idea we just switched over. Just like that. Boom. Done. Right, let's get off. One. Disconnect. Disconnect. Done. Done. Disconnect. Done. Done. Those V strips. Oh, and we're done. Oh. Close that. Close that. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. No. Save. Save. Goodbye, Euroscope. You're gone. There we go. Done. Oh, F4 out of X-Plane. And we are done. Done. Right. See you later, Paul. Yeah, you too. Boom. Gone. Dusted. Sorted. Done. Closed. Closed. Close that. Done. Well, that is me done for my first stream of 2024. Yes, you will see me all. Um, should be tomorrow. I'll probably do a stream tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Probably KSP. I know it's already in the um, Discord calendar because I've got it auto auto renewing. So yeah, probably KSP stream tomorrow. If all of you are interested in Kerbals and space and rockets, etc., 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 be sure to join in tomorrow because it's like my little, my way of like non chill, just chill, play some Kerbals, have a laugh, have a giggle. So you're more than welcome to join me. Um, until then, nothing else is confirmed. Nothing else. No one else is marked on the books for streaming. So you know, obviously, join the Discord. Uh, I will put the link in because. Like so, hey, done. Um, yeah, youtube.com forward slash at aviators underscore TV. Be sure to please give us a subscribe, like the videos. Stream VOD, as always, will be going up on there. So if you missed anything or you want to watch it back or da 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 da, da be sure to join. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. I've got nothing else really to plug. Um, yeah, we are trying to hit the magic 500 on YouTube. We're so close, we're literally like there. We just need like 100. So we've got eight, nearly 800 of you on Twitch. So we just need like, you know, just. Just hit that subscribe, please, please. And then we can do dual multi-streams and everything. It'd be cool. So you can see my view on ground and then like Dan on tower or doing the radar and you can have them both at the same time. It'd be so cool. And things like that. So until then, I will, yeah, more than likely stream tomorrow. I'll be doing a Kerbals stream tomorrow because I love a bit of Kerbals. Uh, yeah, there's Dan pinging in the YouTube link. Thank you, Dan. Um, yeah, um... Have I got anything else to plug? I don't know. I'm probably forgetting something because I'm awful. Um, no, I think that's it. I've, I think I've covered everything. As always, I do my outro and then um, I play Come Fly fly Away With Me and then we'll do a raid. So just stick around. We'll be in the text chat just for a few minutes just so I can tight, tighten the video up with a nice little bow and be like, and done and cut. And then we'll do a raid. So be, if any of you have got anyone I w you would like me to raid, drop their link or whatever in the chat and I'll 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 jump in and raid them. Until then, I will catch you all guys tomorrow. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope you know you don't get cold and wet and rainy outside in the weather. I hope you have a nice chilled out rest of your day. I hope you're all not too hungover and you're still dying. I hope it's all good. Until then, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Take care everyone. See you all. Bye.